Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Banner Saga 2. Alright, so unfortunately, because of uh, the way that battle happened, it saved already um, with my terrible, terrible uh, showing. Uh, meaning that uh, reloading it took me all the way back to the Godstone, so I've been working my way up, and that also means that I haven't gotten as much renown. Um, so I decided that this time we will go with Echol, if only so we can get some extra renown. Uh, we did lose some, uh, fighters on the way. Uh, I did end up picking up a different item, uh, Barter Shade, plus one break talent ranks, plus three break. Uh, a loaded weight used by dishonest merchants adds heft to an attack when held in the fist. So, uh, that actually boosts up his... Oh, shoot. I got Divert instead of Puncture. Well, not much I can do about that. Alright, well. This is why the, the game does, works very, very, very hard to prevent you from, uh... Uh save scumming, so that's what I really should have done was, uh, um, uh, basically just, um, killed it as soon as I saw that I was going to lose. That was stupid of me overall, but, you know, I can't do anything about it now. Alright, so we've got some extremely tough, uh, units here. Um, Ollie's going to be extremely helpful. Let's get you back here. Alright, so I think I'll probably send Echo right up there and push them back. I don't really care if he uh, gets hurt. Let's go. Alright, you are going first, which means I think we want you to just go up and kill this thing. There we go. That's one down already. Ah, damn it. Jeez. Well, <laughs> there goes that plan. I'm still going to use Guts on this guy, though. One of these guys will get in close. Yep. Ow! Damn! Already, that, that is... That is quite the damage. This is going to be very, very painful. Let's runic gate, see if we can get something good. We've got an attack bonus, but it's not in a good position. I am not sure if I'm going to be able to push him back. Let's try it. Yep. Didn't do anything. Alright. Alright, Bulwark. Let's just have you utterly murder this guy. Damn it! That wasn't good. So, yeah. Not, uh... Not starting out so hot, are we? So I could have taken him out, but actually that was uh, worked out okay. Now let's just take this guy out. Ooh! Wow! 
Alright, so we did lose that uh, ability. Um, I think I will just pull back here then, in that case, and uh, try it again. I don't like that ability. Uh, let's see. Shatter on any impact. I don't know exactly what that does long term, but... Alright. Well, the best bet right now is mend up her. It's basically the main reason why I bring her along at this point. You're going to do that as well. Alright, Echo. Let's try this again. That actually was okay. Alright. I think we'll go for a kill on this guy then. Strength is reduced, so let's just start making sure that we maximize our damage. Ugh, I hate that ability. Lots of good uh, damage there. Ooh, that's not good. It was a bad idea. Let's see here. 13. Let's maximize the damage so that we can do our utmost to try and. Uh, Keep these guys from uh, doing too much damage to us. Actually, no one's really taking anything. All right. Uh, let's just do that then. Maybe we'll get something good. Mm, armor. Yeah. Kill that one. You're gonna do that thing again. Okay, I can do some damage against you. I suppose I could have used some of the, uh, the Warhorn points. Mend you up. That helps a bit. Going after Bulwark. Alright, well, at this point, Bulwark is primarily about, uh, reducing... Strength damage counterattack, okay, yeah. On the other hand, I don't believe that works against uh, her when she attacks essentially from range. Let's go after you. I 
There we go. Oh! Ooh, did not realize that was actually gonna hit him like that. Uh-oh. Uh, Bulwark is gonna go down pretty soon, if I'm not careful. Is that going to do it? That does it. Yep, that does it. Well. Alright, well. He should survive. Uh, let's see. Let me see. What do you've got? Only you've got four. You've got zero. In that case... Attack. We'll take that. Eesh. Let's get that way. Go ahead and mend her up. Probably should have used more. You. Kill you. And kill you. There we go. Alright, so we'll get some extra renown out of that that we didn't get before. So that helps. Go ahead and camp. I'll probably need to rest. I've got ten days worth of food. How badly are you injured? Hopefully not too much. Three days, damn it. You're only injured two days. Alright, but uh, I do want to promote you now. Because I did not promote you before. And did I want puncture or did I want to avoid... I wanted puncture for you. Let's confirm that. Alright, let's hold on to our Renown for now, and uh, go ahead and rest. There we go. Everyone is okay, but we're down to seven days worth of supplies. Read that already. Oh, I guess I just automatically did that. Alright, uh, I don't want Echol in here. I want Sigbjorn. And it might actually be better to have Krummer rather than. Uh, let's see. You are 12 and 13. You are 16 and 10. You might actually be better. All right, let's go. All right, we'll try this battle again, and uh, this time, now we know that we need to destroy those. Which I think probably means that our best bet is to be moving people that way. Alright, Sigbjorn. Now luckily these things have no armor. Still have to wait for these guys to come close to us. I don't know how much I actually need to uh, clear. Don't hit Ollie, don't hit Ollie. Good.
I guess I probably need to clear it all. Jeez. That was annoying. Oh. Oh, man. That counterattack works even when, uh... With that ability? Ooh, that is pretty bad. I definitely don't like that. Now, let's move you up. Hoping that as soon as we get this cleared, uh, we will have taken care of it. And we don't actually need to kill any of these guys. Oof. Alright, so there's no more there. Let's just go after this one. Well, that's not fun. Let's get rid of that one, though. Oh, hey, that actually did work on those. So, what is actually left? Just these two? Just these two. Good. One left. Damn! He went down fast. Well, that is... Okay, good. Oh, boy. The foe's lying dead at your feet. The snow. Wow, I only got plus two renown for that? I got more of the previous time. Well, shoot, I should have uh, been killing some of them. Oh, well, the important thing is uh, that I got through there without too many people important dying. There's Old Ford. You can almost make out the Old Ford in the distance, but there's open land between you and it. Oddly, the dredge seemed to have fallen away. Some ravens begin slowing, tripping over their own feet with exhaustion. Krummer, the old Varl war leader, speaks up. This reminds me of, an, of the ambush I sprung on Talon, the craziest chieftain of men I ever fought. His fighters were all strung out and tired like us. One small trick would have ruined our ambush, but lucky for us, they never figured it, figured it out. What are you getting at? I'm not risking more fighters on one of your death wishes. Keep quiet. Talk like that only spreads fear. Oh. What are you getting at? Bah, never mind the details, the old Varl says. Let me take some fighters to handle the situation. There is no situation, or don't make me regret this. Don't make me regret this. Uh, don't make me regret this. You're too young to have regrets, Krimmer says. I've only had two in my life. One was sleeping too close to a fire in a great hall after eating eggs for twelve days straight. I'll tell you the second another time. A dozen fighters take off with the war leader and disappear over a hill. I hope they come back. I guess because we're rushing, we're not getting any of the, uh, uh, forage. That sucks. God, of all places to make a final stand, I bring us to the old fort. 
A human bridge that should have crumbled a hundred years ago. Well, it's a good thing it didn't. We need water and sleep. Well, maybe if we get across, we can collapse the bridge behind us. These people will help us. Don't attack them. That might be, uh, wishful thinking there. Shield wall! Or, you say, or think you say. Fatigue hinders your every thought. No one forms up as a large group of humans approach from the buildings near the old fort. A small, stout man leads them. Mercenaries, huh? You don't look worth a damn, let alone coin. You reach for your axes, but a few spearmen make it clear you shouldn't. Easy, the last thing we need is to spill each other's blood before that dark wall or the dredge get their chance, eh? Dredge. The word echoes in your head. They don't know what they're doing. The man makes a face, and even Folka lifts her head enough to squint at you. Well, we're charged with keeping this route open for the clans that went to Arborang, the man says. So we know we're going to be killing as many of those dredge as we can. Threats and commands come to mind but never make it out of your mouth. The march, the fighting, the lack of sleep all catch up to you, and you fall to a knee. You try to catch yourself, but gracelessly your head hits the snow. Uh oh Oh, are we going to have another dream? Yep. Darkness. Purple lightning and a dark sun. What in the depths is this? Sensing you're being watched, you leap to your feet and reach for Claw and Fang, but they're missing. You roar in anger. The short man at, by the entrance takes a step back. Easy, Bulver. No one's tried to harm you. You get to your feet, head pounding. Where are the ravens? You ask. I woke you first, he says. But the others need to get up too. I let you sleep as long as I dared, but we're almost out of time. He motions to a side table and you find your axes undamaged. Who are you and what do you want? My name's Hatter. But that won't matter in a few hours, the man says. We came from Akur. We're the rear guard of the clan's army that went to challenge the king in Arborang. With axes in hand, you ask. Then what do you want from me? Well, I'm no battle leader. I'm just a skirmisher like all the rest here. I'm proud of myself for not running off already. Plain and simple. You know how to fight, so tell us what to do and we'll do it. We've got fighters who could use some tips or encouragement, Hatter says. Maybe we could build up some stake walls with parts of buildings. Up to you. Excuse me. But you don't have time to do much and no one's expecting miracles. Regardless of how this plays out, I'm glad you stumbled in here when you did. Uh oh. Stepping out into the cold air fright refreshes you. You look around and are surprised to see stragglers crossing the bridge. Can't believe it, can you? Krimmer says, walking along the dozen among the dozen fighters you sent with him. One of these days, all of you will realize there's only one thing tougher than an old Varl war leader on a mission. The ravens around you around him look tired, but happy to have made it. Plus twelve fighters. You grab a handful of snow and squeeze it in your fist until a trickle of water falls to the ground. A silent tribute to your ravens who didn't make it. Uh, that, that's... We, we actually got them all back. Varl Dregs, renowned plus five. Ooh. Well, that's good. So we've got volunteers, we've got houses, heroes, and the market. Let's hit up the market because we do need some more supplies, I think. Uh, Mender's Fib, plus three arm talent ranks, plus one strength talent ranks... And plus one exertion talent ranks. That is pretty good, but uh, I don't know that I want to spend any of our 27 renown on that. Uh, Mare's cord. Oh, well, the Mender's Fib. A kit of etched bone bone needles guaranteed to, guaranteed to improve and repair what you wear. Uh, I believe we already read that one. Mare's Cord. Dyed blue thread, supposedly woven from the hair of the last living horse. And, uh, Ormhilder's Bangle. A serpentine decoration which kept its original owner alive far too long. 20% divert arm attacks, 10% dodge strength attacks, 1 strength resist, plus 1 arm. 
And plus two arm talent ranks, plus three arm. That could be really good. That could be really good for, uh... Folka, but I don't think I want to spend anything on that. Oh boy, we are going to need to get lots of supplies. Let's get up to eight days. Uh, and actually... Yeah, that's fine. Well, at least uh, Fasolt is uh, actually uh, not injured. We did get Krummer back, that's good. Um, I don't think I'm going to promote anyone else, though. Uh, let's visit the houses. Walking among the buildings, a few ravens introduce you to a carpenter from the town. Easy enough to bring a few of these homes and barns down, he says, pointing with a hammer. If you and your ravens help me cart some of the materials from them, I will make it so any force coming across that bridge will pay dearly. Get started, we don't have much time. We don't have any archers to take advantage of that. I'll spend my time doing something else. Uh, sure, get started, we don't have much time. Right away, the carpenter says. We'll start here. A few hours later, stake walls are in place as the dredge arrive. They might not, might not save us. Oh. They might not save us, you tell Folka, but we'll be able to kill a few more than before. Oh. I guess it was that or that. Well... I think we will talk with Folka in the next episode. I think we might be nearing the end. Might actually be a good idea to go for that, uh... Mare's Cord. Could go for the Mender's Fib. But I'm not sure if that... Let's see. You currently have that. I don't have anyone else at level 8. I give that to you. It looks like you, you yeah, it looks like you only get that uh, um, ability if. Oh wait, did I? Oh, he's not high enough level. That's right, six. Item rank plus one. Yeah, I'm not sure if he has the rank one at that point or not. Let's see, I had you with that, because plus two move is really good for his ability. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if... Uh, I'm pretty sure that ten is the, uh, the highest level currently. And there just really aren't a lot of people with uh, these, but... Oops, 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 oops. Let's not actually buy it. Um... Let's see, did I actually give you any... No, you don't have any ranks in anything, so I'm not sure that that's worth it. I don't have enough to promote her. Uh, hmm. Maybe I want to promote someone else. It costs 15. Promote her. Choose a second ability. That might be good. Is there anyone else that I might want? I mean, Sigbjorn maybe. Getting him some, getting him some more strength could be good. Uh, he's not going to be getting any more um, armor break damage though. Not sure if it's worthwhile uh, ranking her up. More willpower could be good. And we have no idea what the second ability is. I think I probably will want her in this battle. Um, and uh, more, uh, more willpower could be good. 
So yeah, let's go ahead and promote her for 13. Breeze. The Mender grants one or more allies the speed of the north wind, allowing them to move to any unoccupied tile on the battlefield for one turn. Because it greatly adds to movement, the magic can also allow a hero to take a much longer route to a tile than would otherwise be possible. That would be good for... Um, that would actually be really good for Ditch. Because I could keep him back and then move him to attack anyone I wanted him to. That could also be really good for Bulwark with uh, Cull the Weak. Yeah, alright. Let's go with this. Confirm. Uh, and, uh, I don't think we need more exertion. I think we do just want more willpower. Uh, I gave her this. 10% dodge strength attacks, 10%, uh, well, Ollie's lucky flask. Um, no one has this. What about that? Plus three will unrest. That's going to be better for her. Because we could have her rest and then and just keep doing stuff uh, far away from uh, the enemies. So I think that'll be a better item. Which means that we've got this. I could give it to someone. I don't know who. Here you go, Crummer. You can, Crummer, you can have it. What does this do? Plus two will unrest. That's not that great. I don't need to take that off of anyone. Off of him. All right, well, uh, I think we'll uh, call this an episode. In the next one, we will talk with uh, talk with Volka and uh, see what she has to say. I kind of feel like this is going to be the end, but uh, I'm not sure. Or the end of this, uh, the, the, the Ravens chapter, the Ravens side. Um, we'll have to see. But uh, we'll find out in the next episode. See you then, everyone.